this video let's compare gram positive and gram negative bacteria before that you just recollect the important points the gram staining technique it was uh, developed by hc gram second point the uh, based upon this gram technique he separated two groups of bacteria one is gram positive and one is gram negative bacteria then let's see what are the difference between this gram positive and gram negative bacteria we know that the all the bacteria are made up of the cell wall is made up of what peptidoglycan okay you can see here this is peptidoglycan in uh, gram positive bacteria and gram negative bacteria both of them have this peptidoglycan but what's the difference then you see you just compare these two this is gram positive and this is gram negative this blue colored region is peptidoglycan here also you can see that blue colored region what's the difference that is in the gram positive bacteria the peptidoglycan cell wall is thick but here this is thin that's the first difference between these two okay this is the reason why the gram positive bacteria became purple dark purple in color because this thick cell wall thick peptidoglycan is hydrophilic in nature hydrophilic what's the meaning of hydrophilic it is water loving that is it absorb water soluble substances of course this pigment or oh, sorry this stain that is water soluble and because of the thickness it absorb more pigment and it becomes dark purple in color but in this case in the gram negative bacteria this is very thin as a result it uh, absorbs only less amount of that pigment and as a result it became pink in color that's the first difference you know then the second one let's see this structure here you can see number of layers of alternately arranged nam and nag okay nam and nag are arranged uh, alternately and such strips are arranged one above the other that means the peptidoglycan layer is uh, um, it is thick because of number of layers arranged one above the other but here you can see certain black thread like structures these structures are known as tachoic acid what's the name it is known as tachoic acid got it tachoic acid in one more picture i'll show that more clearly here you can see that you see each layer and these layers are connected by means of these green colored strands thread like structures that is known as tachoic acid tachoic acid got it so what is the function of this tachoic acid tachoic acid connects the different layers of what peptidoglycan but in the case of uh, gram negative bacteria you just see here only single layer or it is very thin what this peptidoglycan layer is very thin so need, no need of this uh, tachoic acid because if number of uh, layers are there of course that tachoic acid is required for binding them together but here it is very thin so no need of tachoic acid that is the second difference between these two that is in the case of uh, gram positive bacteria tachoic acid is there in in the case of uh, gram negative bacteria this tachoic acid is absent that's the second difference a bit more points you should learn about this tachoic acid for that you should go back to our uh, nam what is nam n acetyl muramic acid isn't it in n acetyl muramic acid you can see a part its chemical structure you should uh, see the chemical structure in the chemical structure we can see one hydroxyl group in or oh group in the sixth position i'll show that look at this picture this one this chemical structure here you can see in the sixth position here one oh group is there 
so this decoic this n acetyl uh, muramic acid this n acetyl muramic acid is press uh, is a part of what our peptidoglycan layer okay and in that particular um, n acetyl muramic acid our tcoic acid gets attached in this picture you can see that clearly let's see this tcoic acid this tcoic acid is not attached to the plasma membrane the lowermost region that is plasma membrane you know so that is called as just tcoic acid or wall tcoic acid if the tcoic acid is found attached to the plasma membrane then that is known as lipotecoic acid so that's the difference between two, these two if the tcoic acid is found just within this peptidoglycan layer we can call it as just wall tcoic acid if it is found attached to this plasma membrane we can call it as lipo tcoic acid one more important point about this tcoic acid you know that is this tcoic acid as its name suggests it has cooh group coo minus because it is acid its name tcoic acid so obviously acid uh, has what coo minus group cooh group here because of the presence of the coo minus group it is negatively charged the cell wall of gram positive bacteria is negatively charged why because of the presence of coo minus but don't be confused with the name gram positive gram positive actually that is because of the fact that it responds to gram staining and stain itself purple that's the reason why it got that name gram positive but here the cell wall as such is negatively charged because of the chemical nature that is coo minus is there that's why it's negatively charged don't be confused with these two points okay Another difference between gram positive bacteria and gram negative bacteria is you just compare this to here outer to peptidoglycan there is no layer but here outer to this peptidoglycan one more layer can be seen and that layer is known as outer membrane or we can say that in the case of gram positive bacteria outer membrane is not present in gram negative bacteria outer membrane is present actually this is the reason this guy makes gram negative bacteria virulent or pathogenic got it it's, it became pink in color why one reason is the peptidoglycan layer is thin second one this particular outer membrane that is made up of lipid these two because of these two reasons it cannot absorb more color or pigment that's why it became light colored or pink in color but in this case it is thick it can absorb more color another difference between gram positive and gram negative bacteria is here you just distinguish these two here the, uh, in the case of gram positive bacteria the outermost layer the outermost layer is what thick peptidoglycan outer to peptidoglycan there is no wall at all but in the gram negative bacteria outer to here you let's see here you see outer membrane is there outer membrane is there outer toward our uh, thick peptidoglycan layer this inner side peptidoglycan layer outer to that you can see the outer membrane got it then there is a periplasmic yes, in the last class we discussed about the periplasmic space okay where is that periplasmic space that is the space between the plasma membrane this is the plas this is the plasma membrane and this one is the outermost layer so we can say that periplasmic space is seen in between what in the case of gram positive bacteria it be in between thick peptidoglycan and plasma membrane okay between cell wall and plasma membrane between cell wall 
and plasma membrane. There is a space which is known as periplasmic space and filled with periplasm. Periplasm. And this periplasm contain different types of proteins which are very much useful for the bacterial existence. Okay. And uh, one more thing, in the case of gram-negative bacteria, you can see that there is a wide space between the plasma membrane and what the outermost layer, that is the outer membrane. And the space between the plasma membrane and outer membrane is wider. But here, between the peptidoglycan and plasma membrane, that space is very, very, very thin. So got it so that is the difference between this then one more thing in the gram negative bacteria because of the presence of the outermost outer membrane our peptidoglycan layer is seen within the periplasm but in the case of gram positive bacteria this outer membrane is absent so we can consider that periplasmic space as the space between the plasma membrane and the thick peptidoglycan Okay, so in nutshell, we can say that periplasma, periplasm or periplasmic space is very less in the case of what gram-positive bacteria and it is widened in the case of gram-negative bacteria. That is another difference between these two. Here in this picture, you can distinguish this, peri this uh, negative and positive bacteria clearly. You just uh, look at this picture here you can see that this green colored inner wall is the plasma membrane and just outer to this that is between this red colored um, uh, membrane that is uh, what is that um, peptidoglycan and this red colored peptidoglycan and green colored plasma membrane there is a blue colored region that is the periplasmic space that is outer the extreme outer portion is peptidoglycan but in this case you just look at this picture the inner green structure is the plasma membrane the outermost layer is the outer membrane that is made up of lipid we will uh, we will study that gram negative bacterial um, uh, cell wall separately in another video okay so the outermost layer is the outer membrane innermost green uh, membrane that is the plasma membrane in between that you can see a light greenish light this structure that is the periplasmic space and within the periplasmic space this peptidoglycan layer is seen okay that's a uh, difference between these two here we can differentiate this gram positive and gram negative bacteria in this way let's see what about the peptid this is negative this is positive bacteria okay these are the properties of uh, negative bacteria and these are the properties of positive bacteria. What about the peptidoglycan? Peptidoglycan is very thin, single layered or very thin in the case of negative bacteria. What about the positive? It is very thick that forms about 50 to 90 percentage of uh, 50 to 90 percentage of the total cell wall. Here 5 to 20 percentage of the total cell wall. Okay, then what about the tachoic acid? In negative, tachoic acid is absent because it is very thin. And here, present in many. Then what about the periplasmic space? Perisplasmic space is widened and it is, it is present. But in this case, it is very, 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 very thin and we can say it is absent. Then what about the outer membrane? The outer membrane is present. In the case of negative form, absent in the positive form. LPS or lipopolysaccharide, that is the com component of the outer membrane, okay. That is very high here, it's virtually none. That's all about the comparison of gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria.